Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about self assembly. Self assembly is a process where organized structures are formed by the interactions between the existing particles. You might have seen this during your breaky while having Cheerios, remember? There are four key factors influencing self assembly. They are the environment, structured particles, driving force, and the binding force between the particles. Now let's try a simple experiment to better understand self assembly. You'll need a container filled with water, few plastic straws, and a spoon. The straws which were cut into pieces having length of approximately 2 cm will be our structured particles. They are then put into the container filled with water which will be our environment. We then stirred it using the spoon to agitate the water thus providing the driving force. As a result of self assembly, the straws organize themselves into different structures which you can see in the video. Why do these structures form? What is the science behind it? Let's talk about it. This is due to the effect of capillary interaction between the straws which is similar to Cheerios in a bowl that we saw earlier. Meniscus are formed between straw surfaces due to capillary interaction and the shape of the meniscus decides whether the straws are going to be attracted towards each other or rippled away. Meniscus along the sides of the straws are upward and along the ends are downward. If the meniscus are in the same direction, the straws are attracted towards each other. That's why you see either the sides of the straws or the ends of the straws are attracted together. If the meniscus are in opposite direction, the straws are rippled away. Due to this reason, an edge coming close to the side gets rippled. Also if you notice, there are few straws that move towards and gets attached to the edges of the container. Water molecules attract floating straws towards the high point of the U-shaped meniscus. So when you have Cheerios for your break-in next time, you will know the science behind it.